Who are you? Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me guess. You're here to steal my husband's G-Virus, aren't you? You are tenacious, I'll give you that. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Sherry's mother? What? Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! What is this thing? No! Hurry! Wh what is this thing? So those rats were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But... And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo. But since Sherry is his daughter, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. Ah! It's Sherry! You go that way.
Be fine. Come on, let's go. <laughs>
My stomach. My stomach hurts. <sighs> Hang in there, Sherry. Her forehead's burning up. I've got to hurry before the embryos pupate. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. Thank you, Claire. Even though I'm an only child, neither of my parents ever spent much time with me because of their work. I grew up alone, but now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely upon. Here for a bit. I'll be right back as soon as I found the antidote for you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 